Dr. Ann Tartini. Welcome back to my channel, everyone. I know it's been a while. I miss everyone very much. I have a minimal ingredient recipe for hummus. As many of you may have been experiencing, not all of the ingredients are easily available in our supermarkets. But um, thankfully, I had seven main ingredients to make hummus. I don't have the tahini paste, which I normally do put in my hummus. Um, however, I'm just going to make do. So today I'm going to make hummus with a can of garbanzo beans, some olive oil. Uh, I have cumin, paprika, um, Himalayan pink salt. Um, I happen to have some fresh garlic. Um, in this case, I'm going to use two cloves, but if you don't have that, you can always substitute it for garlic powder. I also thankfully have one lemon, um, but if you don't have lemon, you could substitute it with apple cider vinegar. Um, I like my hummus more on the tangy side, so I like to use a whole lemon, but it's really all due to whatever your preference is. If you like it less tangy, you can start it with half a lemon um, and then just gradually add it depending on your preference. Same with salt, um, cumin spice. Um, you can always add pepper, black pepper to it. It all depends, but like I said, right now, minimal ingredients are available and I just wanted to share with you guys how I made my hummus today. All right, guys. This is what I am going to use for my minimal hummus recipe. Um, I wasn't able to get all the ingredients that I'm used to getting, such as the sesame tahini paste. Um, however, I was able to find some garbanzo beans. Um, in this case, I'm just going to use one can. Um, and then I'm gonna have two cloves of garlic in there, a lemon, two tablespoons of olive oil, as well as two tablespoons of cumin, and I have half a teaspoon of paprika and a teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. I'm going to uh, blend this in my blend tick and show you guys what it's gonna look like some paprika on top of my hummus and I'm going to be eating it with these gluten-free um, crackers that I got from the grocery store. They're quite good. They're made out of beans and rice and so I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching my video guys. If you feel that video was helpful, um, please feel free to click on the like button and you can always comment below and let me know what your thoughts are. If you would like to hear more about overall wellness, um, more information about plant-based diet, how it can reduce inflammation, reverse chronic diseases, please subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.